Hi everyone, we're XBM Network. Today we're having a look at Debris Infinity on Xbox One. It just came out, it was out on the 11th of October. It's priced at £4.19. We will leave a link in the description. It's developed and published by SVC Games. It's rated 7 and above. It is an action shooter, classic shooter type game. It will, when I just get to the description, is an action pack game that puts your reflexes to the limit allowing you to manipulate time itself to make impossible manoeuvres using an advanced scoring system to rank your performance. Three different types of single player game modes and you can test your skills in exciting scenarios. So you can fight against the clock and time attack, plan your attacks with precision in power wave or survive to earn the highest score in normal mode. You can bring along a friend and enjoy the cooperative gameplay in all game modes where one player acts as the pilot and the other acts as the gunner. So synchronisation is key there, that does sound like a lot of fun if you've got two years that can do the game. Or you can fight in versus mode where you can use enemies as weapons or bait to confuse and defeat the other player. Test and improve your skills in the pulse pounding experience that is Debris Infinity. So, as you notice as you just jump in, very, very basic menu. You've got one player, two players, options or credits. Options fairly simple. You can enable the bloom, as you can see it's just varying between the uh, brightness there. High is quite nice. You've got your audio where you can turn everything down or up. And of course, you can do your vibration, everything enabled. Once you've picked options that you want, just press the A button to apply. You can also go through the tutorial. It's quite basic and simple, this one. Just press the B button to access it. And it just tells you that when you're there, to so use the right stick, which fires in any direction. Go across to the next one. Left stick to move around, so it's a twin stick shooter. You could hold down the RB or the right trigger, and that will give you a temporal anomaly, which will slow down time. You've got a quantic explosion, LB or LT for that one, so you wipe out all enemies, ex expending a huge amount of energy. So just pick and choose when you want to use that one. So combos, destroy the enemies before the bar on the left is empty to increase the combo. A higher combo increases the value of each enemy by adding extra value. A combo of 100 adds 100% 100 of the enemy's score. A combo of 200 adds 200% 200 and so on and so on. So you get 300, 400, 500, etc. The use of the temporary anomaly causes the combo bar to empty more slowly. Also got streaks, so it can destroy enemies without being hit to increase the multiplayer level. Receive an impact decreases decreases the level. So if you get hit, you could be knocked down on that one. So the multiplayer is applied after the combo bonus. Go to the next part. So destroy enemies as soon as they appear to obtain a reflex bonus. Multiplayer times five. The longer the enemy remains active, the smaller the multiplayer will be. So down to a value of times one, which is normal. Reflex bonus is applied after the combo bonus and the streak bonus. Destroy four enemies of the same colour consecutively to recover energy and earn a chain bonus. So look out for them on screen. Consecutive chains award more points. Each chain fills the chain bar. When it's complete, you will receive a bonus weapon or more shield. A chain of green enemies gives you more shield. So look out for them as well because you are going to need them. And that's the tutorial. What we shall do is just jump into a couple of the modes, show you what it's like. Choose your game mode. So you got time attack, normal, a power wave. You can change your difficulty as well by pressing the X button. So you got easy, normal, and you can do them on your uh, different ones as well. Go to the rankings at any time. So once you've got a good enough score, you will get onto there. That's the top of the leaderboard so far. Really high score, see what you can do with them. So, we're going to try normal, we'll do it on normal difficulty. So, survive the enemy attack as long as you can. So, this is basically an infinite mode. Ready? Engage. So, just moving around, left stick, firing with the right stick. Nice and bright and colourful, this one. Level up there, keep your health. 
So the shield's indicated at the bottom of the screen. Just change our weapon. You might see some similarities between other games that are similar to these twin sticks. So if you like them type of games, this is going to be right up your street. And for £4.19, you can't really argue with that. Lovely again, trying to collect some chains. Kill them blue things that's coming towards you. They are active weapons that's been fired towards yourself. Don't know how well I will perform. Might notice the larger enemies a little bit slower. Um but you smaller ones they're coming towards you as fast as they can. So just hit left trigger there, that gave a big blast. Managed to slow them down. Oh, I'll disperse them. Just been destroyed there. We will have another go though. These type of games, we do like enjoy showing them off, but we do recommend you just pick it up, try it for yourself. It's a lot of fun, especially if you're into this type of thing. And games like these always have that one more go factor. You always want to beat the last score. Also, it's competitive between friends. I've just slowed down time there with the trigger, just holding it down. As you can see, it slows everything down on screen. You can blast as well with the left trigger. So it's right trigger for slow, left trigger for blasting. Trying to avoid these enemies here. Shields are taking quite a bit of a hit there. Just slow it down just again. Try and give me a little bit of breathing room there. Level up. So like I said, the competitive competitive people out there, you're gonna want to try and get the high Level scores. Up. You wanna try and hit those leaderboards. Oh I've took some major damage there. Have I blow up? Yep. Formed a little bit poorly than what I did on the previous one. So we're rank 208. I'm sure you can beat us. If you do, let us know on Twitter. You get your top 10 leaderboards as well. Some fantastic scores on here. Top one's got 217,388,401. Can you beat it? There's a challenge for you. So, Power Wave, we'll have a little look at that. Destroy waves of enemies to obtain more time. So again, we can do it in easy or normal. I don't want to make it too easy and give you a false pretense of what the game's actually like. If you do prefer playing on easy, that's fair enough. Just, just bash on with that. Um, if you want a bit of a challenge, set it to normal. And you'll get that challenge with this. Ready? Engage. Danger. Oh, we've got a one in there. Got to clear a section between the stars to actually okay. survive, and that was over very fast. <laughs> We'll try that one again. Ready? Engage. So, we've got to look out for the waves that's coming. Take some major damage there. Time bonus. 
purple things with the clocks go into them. They get your high points, well, they'll get your time. Keep an eye on them and absolutely destroy it again. That's your more challenging game mode. So, as you see, at the moment, not a lot of people tried that game mode out. So you've got a good chance to hit the top of the leaderboards. We're currently sitting at 144. Just check out the top 10 on that one. Twenty-three million five hundred seventy-six four hundred seventy-five was he? <laughs> Quick look at time attack. Be a little bit of advice is keep trying the normal mode first you know infinite uh, game mode get used to the controls get used to the enemies that come on screen and we're going to the uh, the power wave as with everything it's just practice Catch a little soundtrack in the background. So if you would like, pop some headphones on, turn the lights off, enjoy the colours. Just got an achievement there, 10 G for a hundred enemy combo. We are timed on this one. Gonna try and survive your damage and survive the time as well. So there's your challenge. Again, you can use your blast with the left trigger. And we can slow everything down with the right trigger. Comes in handy if you feel a bit overwhelmed. Bomb of line. And as you're slowing Low everything power. down, your clock's still ticking on this game mode as well, so use that to your advantage. Bomb of line. Level up. Not quite sure what that is, that red thing. Oh, it's sending out pulses of energy. To avoid them. Destroyed here. Forty seconds. Can we survive? Waves are coming as well. So if you remember them from the power waves, I should have saved the uh, the big wave blast for this particular section. seconds. Gotta hold on, hopefully. Ten seconds. Let's get a bit manic. Get a countdown with the announcer. Whoa. So we've got 548 enemies, that wasn't too bad. Got over a million score. <laughs> Nothing coming up there, but as you say, they've got some fantastic scores of it, like ninety two million. So, yeah, there's a look at Debris Infinity on Xbox One. I say it's out now from SVC Games. £4.19 on the store. Link will be in the description. If you like it, pick it up.
So you can have two players on it as well. One controls the uh, the ship, and one controls the guns. That's going to make it a bit more interesting. I want to thank you for watching. As always, we appreciate it. If you do let us, if you do get it, let us know on Twitter at xvm underscore network. Send us some of your high scores. We'll tweet them out for you. If you don't mind doing that. Check out our YouTube channel. Plenty of uh, indie games on there. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.